Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. New York City three years ago. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Oh. Oh. Coffee's on. Great. Thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. A storm or something? So it's some new TV. Got the CC. CC 2000. 50 by 32. Okay, I'm on 50 inch, okay. Gonna put it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put that right over here, bro. Look, like we're in New York City. New York City. It's a lot of New York photos, man. City, or at least city life. Yeah. Bunch of city life photos, bro. Like. You don't get enough of the city when you leave your house. You gotta have it inside your house too. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh really? Well, you seem to think so last night. I guess these photos are me. Some more New York City photos. Why, right, bro? You're obsessed with the city, bro. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to hug you from behind? I'll examine cover mock ups? Where's that at? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please. Oh, relax. This was a late goodbye. 13 years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. 
Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Alan Wake, return to sender. Okay. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Oh my god, relax, girl. You are in your house. You are home. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Uh, you are home. Ain't nobody. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Oh my god, me and this flashlight here. You good? Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> How about you tell me a story? I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. She need to tell me how she got this phobia of the dark. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay. Why is there a fish on the table? Are you fishing when you... Did we, did we disturb you from fishing? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me. Uh, I didn't ask you. Here. I didn't ask you for all that information, bro. All I asked was that I stop you from fishing, bro. You meant to me a whole story. I'm in a police station. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Knack for winning sure contests? Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to your notes. Just be patient. Is there a reason why they let me read the uh, Missing people list? Is that a missing cat?
Mr. Wake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Okay, so like that lady might know something about what's going on with the shadows. If she is afraid or... The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Is this the office? I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Yeah, I body Stucky, bro. He was acting up. I have to give him the full treatment, bro. Gave him everything I had. Gave him, gave him a shotgun. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Uh, what office is this it? Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you down the corridor in her office. Where's her office? Oh. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Okay. Thank you. You go through my text messages? Your phone, Mr. Wake? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. And don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. So what about kidnapper now? You don't, you don't want to tell the cop? I need some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Hey, hey, hey mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Old town dealing with some darkness? Like... What's going on in there? So is that... Hey. I can't stand the dark anymore! In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. 
Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. He might go through the fence. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay, this is Sparta. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? The lights of the radio mast blinking red. Are, are these like events that's gonna be taking place that I'm reading? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going- I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Why not tell the sheriff? reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Good bro. That boy is sleeping, sleeping. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No. Of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. 
My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. <laughs> what the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Why are we punching people? I don't understand. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Boy, Alan Wick, he... The, the, the vibe I get from him... He's like a character that I don't, even, I don't really care about. Similar to the guy, um... Aiden Pierce, I think it was, from uh, Watch Dogs. That was another asshole protagonist. You know, I didn't really care to play as. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <laughs> the funny farm. <laughs> uh, the funny farm, that's funny. What am I looking for? Who says? Is that a guy and a dog? How do I get outside? Oh. Hey, who are you? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Oh. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Right. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I mean, Barry, he not... He not really talking... He not even, he's making sense. Barry is not talking crap. He's definitely making sense. Like... 
the kidnapper has the upper hand if it's really a kidnapper. Like, you going, you're a writer. You're not fucking, you're not Batman. You know what I mean? Like, what are you, what are you planning on doing? Like, this is the real world. You can't flash a flashlight in his face and expect him to, to be hurt like kryptonite. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. I'm not. I'm with Barry on this one. This boy Alice sound crazy. That's just crazy talk, Al. 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 We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Why call him then? Achoo! Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. <laughs> you want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. It's where Alan, bro. I don't like his decision making. He go he about to go run into a damn uh Possible ambush. Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha ha. Thank you. I'll just sit here in the dark till you come back. Oh, uh, is that what I get eaten by a Gru? My fault. I didn't know I turned the lights off. I thought I was turning the lights on. It's really dark in here. Right, where are we going? I can't get out the door. Oh. Lover's Peak? Really? Is that a joke? I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. If, if Barry gets killed somehow, that's on me. That's on, that's on Al. Barry had never gotten along with Alice. But he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. 
And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Just the fact that he knows that he should be calling the cops and getting them and getting them involved, it just lets you know, like, all right, my man is not thinking straight. He's just doing stuff. It's kind of like playing like. A multiplayer game and your teammate is just running into a, a, a 3v1 without like trying to like get his teammates involved and be strategic I'm just going in like oh I see somebody I'm gonna go over there and start shooting with without any cover and then gets bodied instantly why like, come on Alan bro use your brain you should be trying to be strategic like all right i don't know if this guy's by himself or he has a unit you know, maybe i should be trying to game plan with some authorities i could still go by myself but at least i'll have like people on standby if things get crazy you know welcome back to the show folks as promised our very own dr nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio doc what's your deer fest plan like my plan you make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sat race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. So I just came inside here to listen to that. Okay, that's some ammo. That's good. But yeah, like my man could have came up with a game plan, but like, all right, bro. Police, this is what's happening right now. Some guy just said that my wife was taken. He wants me to come alone. Uh, what do you guys think I should do? Have you guys ever dealt with something like this before? <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, if I was him, I would have been asking him, like, bro, like, have you ever dealt with something like this before? If so, what would be the, the best way to to approach this situation you know what I mean like trying and, try and get some insight no, but nah my man's like alright I'm gonna go by myself I'm gonna go meet up with them with a flashlight and a gun I'm gonna go I'm gonna save her I'm gonna get her back my way alright bro you you moving like you don't got nothing to live for bro Moving real reckless out here. 
What is this? Manuscript. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Okay. Like somebody, somebody was over here. What's happening? Anybody? Help me! Help! Help me! Who's oh, Rusty? Can you hear me? Anyone? Please! Help. Oh! Hey, what's up, buddy? Hello? Back here! What's going on Back over here? here? What? It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. <laughs> I get the lights. Uh, what are lights at, Rusty? Going out, sir. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Okay, what's this? Another manuscript? The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear. Suddenly afraid to die alone. Damn, bro. Boy got a broken rib and a broken leg. My fault, Rusty. I guess I wrote that. And I guess, I don't know, I'm guessing the things that I write, I think they come true. It's my, my, my fault, Rusty. I shouldn't have wrote that. <laughs> that was so descriptive. I'm guessing that's what's happening. I don't know. I think I'm like writing everything out. And then living it. Another manuscript. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Anything in here? Anything inside here? What's this? What's that? Batteries? Ammo? Nice. What's over here? What's that? Heinz ketchup? Yeah, you know it. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. Oh, uh, there was no way to get the lights back on. Yeah. Okay. Rusty. Rusty. Damn. That boy Rusty got body, bro. Way to go help Rusty. <laughs> Yo, Rusty. <laughs> the ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Oh, 
Yo, Rusty, where you at, bro? Just <laughs> yo, yo, Rusty, you got bodied, bro. <laughs> My fault, sir. Oh shit. <laughs> Somebody else is here. Who else is here? Yo, where Rusty at? I got to do that? Probably not, right? Hey, uh, Rusty. Where you at, buddy? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Don't, don't, you said don't feed the animals? Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park. Hey, Rusty, is that you? Rusty, put that down, Rusty. Put it down. Put it down, Rusty. Don't let me do it. I told you, Rusty, put it down. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Who are these people? How you gonna pull up after I beat the boss? Ow, you still hit me? Bitch. Nah, bro, not like that. What up? What up? Say, I can't miss from that close. Can't miss from that close. That was all that. So, so what happened to Rusty? What, what made Rusty decide to start attacking me? Like, what? What did they do to Rusty? Uh, I guess I gotta go to the light. I guess. What's going on over here, man? Can I go through here? Oh, nice. Well, I didn't get touched, so I don't have to worry about healing. So that's good. Who calling me? Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. What you saw? He saw something take that tree down? A monster or something? Uh, this is... I mean, I get it. If Alan wasn't doing this, there would be no game. 
Well, come on, Alan. Come on, bro. What are we doing? Alan doing too much, bro. Yep. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. That boy Rusty was out here being, being filthy with it. He was out here. Best friend with Rose, the waitress. Even though he's married. That boy Rusty was 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 living rusty, bro. He, that boy was living foul. That boy Rusty was living foul, bro. I can't speak on his wife. I don't know how she was living. She was probably living foul too, but we don't got we don't got that insight, so we just gotta talk to Rusty, bro. Can I shoot this bird? No? Okay, I guess not. That boy Rusty living foul, bro. Lover's Peak, right? Lover's Sp Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. What's over here? Any uh any transcripts over here? I know I don't I'm not supposed to be over here, but Yo, where is this going? Now we gonna, fuck it, we're about to explore. Let's explore real quick. Moonshine cave. What's in here, bro? Anything in here? I can't see nothing, bro. What's this? Is that a shotgun? Oh, hell yeah, pick that up. Say less. Flare gun? Okay. All that. Let me get all that. Got two shotgun bullets. Okay. Look at that. Get rewarded for exploring. Okay. I don't know what I'm hearing over there, but. Alright, let's go back. <sighs> Love is peak. We got a shotgun there. We got a little flare gun. I gotta remember to use the flare gun. I didn't use it last time I had it, so I don't know how powerful it is, or or even what it does. Honestly, I'm thinking it shoots light in the air, but I don't know. Oh, what if I could use a flare gun to like to like create light so I can heal myself? What up? Oh, word? It's like a rocket launcher. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Oh, shit. Alright, so the flare gun. Can I reload this gun? Can I reload it? Make sure that thing is ready. Yeah, the flare gun seems to be like a um like a damn rocket launcher to them, bro. That's different. Where am I going? Oh, I gotta go over there. Okay, okay. All oh, right, all right. Love is pig. What's over here? I like that when I when I explore a little bit, I get stuff. I like that. Is that a manuscript? Yeah. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated. 
but she really tried to help. She was smart too, knew a lot about what was going on in the town, knew a lot about Al, even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay. I don't know why that was the point. Okay. Alright, um, where are we going? Am I going up here? What's, what's over here? Yeah! Where the problem at? Where the problem at? Yeah, where the problem at? Got my flashlight. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, what up? Oh, what the hell was that? with y'all bro anyway I'm playing with y'all you're not scaring nobody bro y'all be trying to try to 1v3 me bro come on Alan what up ow Right. Fall back, bro. What up? What up? How many of those do you have in your hand to be throwing at me? Huh? That third one, my bugging. I could be bugging. Uh, I thought there was another one. Oh, there he is. I knew there was another one. What? Where the hell y'all came from? Hey. Ow, that hurt, bro. Ow. Nope, you miss. You miss. Got your ass. You better not throw it. You better not throw it. You better not throw it. He still threw it. I don't got ammo. I only got the ammo for this. I only got five bullets. What 
Don't really got the ammo to be playing around with y'all, bro. What's this? Emergency bullets and flashlight. Nice video game mechanic right there. Just random bullets and flashlights. Flashlight uh, batteries just hanging around in the woods. <laughs> I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Alright. What's this? Oh, word. Y'all don't want me to make no phone calls, huh? Y'all put, put the, the whole axe in there. Okay. I better not run into no damn beers. Seventeen bullets. Okay, I, I see you. I saw you, bro. Oh, it's a bunch of y'all. Okay, I tried to sneak me. I'm not gonna lie, like fighting out here in the woods, like you just you don't know what's behind you. You just walking into a corner, you don't even know. <sighs> okay, yeah, I saw you. Haha. Ha. They made me think there's one person, but it was a bunch of y'all. Uh... Look at me, I'm in a fucking corner again. Nice. Nice. You, you guys all run faster than me. What the hell? I'm not gonna lie, the, the dodging mechanic? I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not gonna front. It's the same button I, I, I sprint with. I, I didn't use that button dodge. It's, it's kind of weird. Alright. Alright, we're, we're, we're homeboy over here, right? Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't even fucking see where I'm going, bro. I can't even see where I'm going. It's like the enemies are not hard. It's it's just some walking into corners. I'm not like trying to maneuver through these through this is what's more difficult than fighting them.
How are you still hitting me, bro? fact it felt like i was not gonna finish this this part unless i used the flare gun i felt i felt like i had to use the flare gun that was that was frustrating that was frustrating Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. Agent Nightingale? Who the hell is that? Is that Barry? Is that Barry's name? You say run out of road or and booze? It's not a good combination, bro. Driving with the booze. All right, man. What are, what are we doing, man? We reach Lover's Peak. Like, how far is Lover's Peak from here? Does it say it on this map? Moonshine Cave. Where the hell is Lover's Peak? I ain't got no more bullets, bro. I just have two shotgun bullets. What's up? So who gonna help me? Who that? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Yeah, I figured that out already, bro. So, so this not a dream, you huh? see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wake! You better keep up! What the hell? What the hell's going on over here? What is going on here? I don't, I don't know what the hell is. What's that? What's that? What was that supposed to do there? Back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. 
He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. A hold R1. In the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wait. Alan, this dude just up. saved your life. You assuming that he kidnapped your wife now? Well, I like. I don't know how, how many times they want me to use it, but okay. What the fuck? Where are we going? Where we going, bro? You don't shoot him, bro. What are you doing? Shoot him, bro. Lover's peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back. I'm sure the developers of the game probably thought this would look epic. Like, oh. A longer, almost got it. He, he shoots the flare at him. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Bro. Homie did not trust me with the gun, like, bro. He said, no way, Mr. Wake. Alright, bro. I see how it is. I'm gonna I'm remember that. This is Let it, Wake. Last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Bro, can you shoot the dude right here? I'm getting hit, bro. They're not even looking for you, bro. Shoot him, bro. God. 
This guy with the gun is terrible, bro. It's terrible, bro. This dude is terrible with the gun, bro. Terrible. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. <laughs> Shoot him, bro. Why are you not shooting, bro? Shoot him, bro. serious shoot him bro shoot him bro let's cut the act now where's my wife I knew you were gonna say that I read it all before you're a hell of a writer congratulations you're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> Yo, you can't just be punching everybody, bro. My man just be swinging on everybody, bro. I get the answers first. You're gonna give me the manuscript or you'll be sorry. No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! What's Do the point? you hear me? Come back here! Yeah, what's the point of the manuscript? He had Alice. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. 
I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant, until now. Wait, so this is why she's afraid of the dark? She knows about what I'm going through right now? Is this something that she experienced before? As far as Alan goes, Alan Wick, he reminds me of Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs. Not really interested in him as a, as a protagonist. Like, <laughs> as soon as someone says something that he doesn't really like, he starts swinging, he starts putting his hands on him. You can't just be punching people that just, you don't like what they have to say. You can't just be punching people without getting an understanding. Like he punched the dude earlier in the police station. In the police station, he assaulted somebody. Like, right, bro. This dude is crazy, bro. Uh, the, the gameplay mechanic of aiming the damn flashlight and... Like, you can get overwhelmed really easy if you have bad... Um, what do you call it? Like, bad... Like, an environment. Like, if the environment is cluttered and you don't have room to maneuver... You can get overwhelmed really quickly. The flare gun is cool, it's like a rocket launcher. And then you got the flares that you hold in your hand, which I guess that's cool, it keeps them away. Uh -oh. yeah. I don't really know how I feel about the game so far. I'm not a. I don't think it's a bad game. But I'm also not I'm not excited about what I'm playing at this point. But I might I might keep going though. 